準備完了。Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be doing a quick breakdown of what to do as a free-to-play in Ether Gazer Global. First thing first, I'll need all of you to keep in mind that you will not be able to get every character in the game unless you are lucky. What do you mean by that? Or you get an off rate. With that said, let's get to the video. Oh, say less! <laughs> On the day of the launch, players will be able to obtain a guaranteed S rank from simply pulling on the starter banner. Or at least that's how I remembered it in beta and maybe CN. I don't know it's been a while if they do decide to do that on global, there should be that one character in the game that everyone will be lucky to have as a starter, and that character is S Poseidon. S Poseidon is an ice DPS unit that is great for farming stages and also used very frequently later in endgame content like Twisted Dreams since her AoE freeze comes in really handy when gathering and nuking mobs or simply to stop the boss in its tracks. Poseidon will be used with the already available ice units like Vidar or Leviathan. But later on, one of them will be replaced by the latest member of the ice team. Players were given a free S rank selector along with a free key selector to go with it. Keep in mind that this is not yet confirmed for global. But if by then you've been enjoying Poseidon's gameplay, this is a good opportunity to snatch her key. Or if there's a certain character you like but haven't gotten yet, this is how you'll be able to get a copy without using your gems to pull on the gacha. As proof that you are able to pull for a few of the characters you want if you save or just get lucky I will show you who I've been able to get after playing since launch and even taking a break from the game for a few months. Also, knowing who you want to skip or pull for also really makes some decision much easier to These are the characters that I skipped and a few I missed while Sold taking off. the break I mentioned. Yahoo! The ranked characters are also really good in this game, so don't sleep on them since they will prove to be very useful in more ways than one. Now we move on to how we can get gems and eat. You'll obviously need to do the story on both normal or hard mode. Later on or maybe on launch, the battle pass will be giving tickets for gacha, and those are obtained by just doing daily grinds or mission to progress in levels on the pass, just as every other battle pass in other games. Next will be the causal observation mode, which gives you 400 gems per stage. They'll take some time, but as you will later see, it's definitely worth it. Reincarnation mode is also a great way to get gems, there, you will fight 9 mob stages and then a boss stage that gives you 200 gems, but there's no need to rush these as you'll soon find out they get a lot harder the higher you get. Lastly, and probably the most easiest way, and that is doing your weekly missions since they give you 1000 gems every week. Secondly, character building. Materials for upgrading your units to get them to max level along with skill upgrades, weapon, or key upgrades can be farmed in the resource stages that you will find by clicking the go to battle icon at the bottom of the screen. In that section, you will see all the modes that are in the game. 
The easiest way to find what you need is to click the indicator above the item you've selected, which will give you all the locations that have the material that you are looking for, whether it's skill XP, overclocking materials, golden chips that you'll be using to put buffs on your sigils such as crit rate and elemental damage along with a ton of others, you'll be able to easily find them all with one click. Next will be sigils, which, if you've played Punishing Grey Raven, these will be what you call memories. By going to character upgrades and then to the sigil tab, you'll find at the bottom of the screen a recommended section that will give you set or build your character's needs but you can always experiment with other sigils to create your own unique build. Sigils can be purchased using points you earn from your guild battle, and the resource stages have that specific material, or you could just dismantle unwanted 5-star and 4-star sigils for currency to buy them from the shop. Just like your character's sigils will need upgrading and overclocking materials that you can find using the indicator to find them or just heading to the resource stages. Lastly, keys. Free-to-play keys can be purchased using points you earn from doing the multi-dimensional variable mode on either normal or hard mode. However, you will have to do it on hard mode at least once, to complete an event that gives you a ton of gems and enough Poseidon shards to get her to a mega rank. One final thing be you go. Remember to this very important game mode called Dream Reconstruction. In here, you'll grind mobs and boss stages that will you all sorts of rewards and enough currency to buy shards to increase the rank of your rank characters and golden chips for applying buffs to your sigils. Also, 100 orange points will guarantee you a free copy of Kuni, so don't forget to do it. Anyways, this is all the important things you'll need to know at launch. The others you'll find out on your own, or you can just leave a comment below asking me anything else you want to know. Until next time, catch you in the next video. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir.